tonight all over this place. We love your name, Lord. We love your name, Lord. The name that is above every name. We love your name, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Yes. Come on, just pour your love on him tonight. receiving your praise and your worship the one that deserves it all the only one the one that has saved us 
the one that has kept us, the one that comes in a great time of need, and the one that is our strength. The psalmist said, when my flesh and my heart fail, God, you are my strength. His strength, uncomparable strength. The apostle Paul said, in my weakness, he's made strong. Lift up your voices as we sing that song. You are my strength. Tonight, as I sing it, I believe all of us need his strength. And I believe there's people here tonight that you walked in, maybe in a place in your life where you need God's strength like never before. And I want you to step out of your seats. Come on, if this evening somehow you feel that God needs to infuse you with that power, with that strength that, that nothing else will do in your life. Maybe it's that situation, that circumstance you're in. And you're saying, God, I'm not certain about tomorrow, but I want you to know that God is here tonight. And God is your tomorrow. He's your strength in a time of need. He's your shelter. He's your refuge. Step out. Come on. And some of us here that are standing, this is the time to bring that sacrifice of worship and that sacrifice of praise and say, God, if it wasn't for your faithfulness yesterday, I wouldn't be here tonight. Let's turn this moment right now and just begin to lift up our hearts to him as we sing that song and declare that he is our strength. He's everything. Sing it out now. My strength. Sing it out Straight like no other. It reaches, it reaches to me. Sing it out you now. You are my strength. You are my strength. Come on, worship. Let your worship. Like oh, no thank you, Jesus. Other. Yes, Lord. Strength like no other reaches to me. Sing it out. Come on, worship team. In the fullness, oh, in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace. In the God is lifting you up tonight. You lift me up. Say in the fullness, yes. In the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name. You lift me up.
watch what happens when you begin to lift up his name. Come on, lift up his name tonight. Just worship him on your own. Let that heart be your malady tonight. Just worship him. Come on. Let's worship him, church. Oh, we worship you tonight, Jesus. Oh, you are more than enough, oh God. Oh, Lord Jesus, you are our Savior, our, our strength, our healer. Oh, we love you this evening, Lord. We come to worship you, declare to you, to acknowledge you, God, to praise you, to uplift your name above all names. Come on, let's magnify his name tonight. Let's worship him tonight. Let's give him the glory and the honor. Let's pray to him. Let's praise him. Let's intercede. Let's seek him. Let's say, God, if it wasn't for your faithfulness, if it wasn't for your goodness, if it wasn't for you coming and delivering my soul, saving my soul hallelujah oh come on let's worship him let's create a fountain of worship a fountain of worship unto the lord oh out of the valleys will spring forth living water he says come on somebody lift up his name tonight somebody magnify his holy name he is god he is god he is god he's faithful in a time of need, He's faithful. In a time of uncertainty, He's sure. In a time where you need that strength, He'll make you strong. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, lift up His name this evening. And magnify His name. Declare. Declare who you serve, who you love. Declare who has saved you. Declare who stands before you. Declare it, declare it, declare it. We declare your goodness in this place, O oh Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way. Release the anointing upon us tonight. Oh, lift up the downcast. Raise up the sick. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, begin to lift up your need tonight. Begin to lift up that need that is pressing in your life. We lift up to you tonight. Every single petition. Every single need that is present physical, emotional, spiritual, financial. Oh, in the name of Jesus, you're more than enough, oh God. You're more than enough. Oh, Robo Sando Robo Korea. Come on, it's Friday night. Uh, it's spiritual warfare. It's time to come out and, and say, God, if it wasn't for your faithfulness, if it wasn't for your name, if it wasn't for your blood, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your praise arise. Come on, break through into the heavenly tonight. Let's come before his throne with boldness. Let's enter his courts with praise. Somebody, somebody needs to take courage. Somebody needs to rise up tonight. Somebody needs to declare that your God is faithful. He's faithful. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you know how to speak in tongues, uh, begin to speak in tongues. Uh, create that atmosphere in this place. Uh, let the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit have its freedom in this place. Oh, Sando Robo Coria, Rabba Sando Robo Coria. Healings are taking place. Uh, deliverance is coming your way. Somebody acknowledge that. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. Uh, you're more than enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Sarobo Korea Rada Baba Basa. I want you to get a hold of somebody next to you. I want you to partner up with someone next to you. And I want you to lock hearts. Women with women, men with men. But I want us to pray tonight as we enter this night of intercession. As we stepped into this year of 2018. There is nothing that God will not do for us according to his will. The Bible says he desires for us to have an abundant life. Jesus said, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But he says, but I have come to give you life and life abundant. Now tonight, listen, as you lock arms with someone, I want you to pray. I want you to pray with that person. But Tonight we need to pray for Cheryl sooner, and she needs, uh, she needs our prayers tonight. Her family, someone there is, is, is in that place of that they may not make it through the night, but tonight God has the last word. And tonight we need to pray for Joe Garza. He, he has open heart surgery coming up on Tuesday. 
when you don't say nothing, when you just simply don't say nothing, that prayer is idle in you. But when you say something, when you cry, Abba, Father, when you come to him, it sets things in motion. The power of your tongue for the good and for the bad. Listen to me. If the, the devil wants to do something, he wants to muzzle you and he wants to keep you quiet. But tonight it's not like that. Tonight we're going to come boldly before the throne of grace and declare what we need of him. And say, God, we need you in our lives. So I want you to go ahead and partner with that person and begin to pray. Come on, you know what the need is. Maybe you know them personally. You know what that need is. Some, some are physical. Some are spiritual. Some are financial. Some are relational. Some are emotional. Whatever the need may be. Come on, somebody's calling is in motion tonight. And God is saying, I'm going to set you free. I'm going to bring deliverance your way. I'm going to save your family. I'm going to come in a moment, in a time that you least expected. Because I am the one that sets things in motion. I'm in control. He's the God of heaven and earth. He's the creator of everything. Come on, somebody release their faith together tonight. In the power of agreement right now. Let our church come alive this year in the area of intercessory prayer, oh God. Awaken the sleeping giant right now in the name of Jesus. We come to you right now and we believe for everything that we are able to bring before you. Jesus, you're on the right hand of the Father forever interceding for us. And God, tonight we stand together in agreement uh, that this year is not going to be the same. That this year is going to be your year in our lives. Uh, that there are things that you have prepared for us that we would walk in them and have victory in them. In the name of Jesus, somebody's getting a breakthrough right now. Come on, magnify the moment and say, God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we lift up this family. We pray, God, that you would intervene, Father. That you would come in such a way that you would show yourself to this family, my God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we lift up this brother. God, that as he goes to the hospital, and God, as the surgery takes place, that Jesus, you would be the center, that you would guide the doctors, that you would, Lord, come in such a way and bring healing to his heart. Bring healing to his heart, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Come on. Oh, come on. It's being done right now. He's releasing something in the supernatural. Come on, he's lifting you up tonight. He's lifting us up tonight. Oh, thank you, Jesus. beautiful praise offering tonight <laughs> glory to God before you go back to your seats I believe on the way in the ushers gave you a prayer request a prayer slip and uh, tonight before we leave we want to make sure we do something with it because on that prayer request if it's blank it remains blank but when you put your name on it and you put your need on it it comes alive it comes alive because all of a sudden someone's going to be praying for your needs. And you're going to be praying for someone else's needs. So make sure you have your prayer request. And before the night's out, we're going to do something very special. How many know that this is the year that God wants us to experience miracles in our lives? Come on. How many know that that is more than possible? Are you a miracle? 
if, you, if you're a miracle, wave your hand. Come on. If God took you out of bondage, if God set you free, you're a miracle already. But we're talking about signs and wonders. We're talking about miracles that don't take place on an ordinary day. Somebody said, you don't need a miracle if you could do it yourself. But you need a miracle when you know you can't do it yourself. Come on, give God praise for that. I want you to go back to your seats, shake a few hands. Pastor Julian's going to come and we're going to continue our Friday night, spiritual warfare night. Pastor Julian. Come on, let's give Jesus one more good hand of praise. Amen. Tonight, I'm excited to be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If the ushers could go ahead and take their places, you can go ahead and be seated tonight. As the ushers go ahead and take their places, we're going to go ahead and receive our fire, I mean, our Friday night tithes and offering. Amen. And what I want to do real quickly is I want to uh, read a verse which is found in Psalms 89, 17, and it goes along with giving. And it says, for you, for you give them splendor and strength, and it's by your favor we are victorious. And you know, when you see this verse here, it encourages me because it shows us who God is. And if you need God to pour his favor upon you, how many can say amen, you need the favor of God? Especially when it comes down with your finances, you say, God, I need your favor. I need your favor this year. I've positioned myself, I've, I've uh, you know, been giving. I gave last week, I started off the new year right. Last week I gave 10%, you gave your offering. But here tonight I'm telling you that God's favor will be upon you. And see, when I look at this verse here, I, lo I look at it, I, I see the strength of who God is. And even for myself, I say, you know what, this year I want your favor upon me. I want your favor in my finances. I want your favor in my life. I want your favor upon me. And see, the way that I'm able to tap into who God is in this area is that I got to be able to be faithful in my giving. I got to be a faithful giver. I got to give my 10%, which rightfully belongs to the Lord, but then also to give above and beyond that through offerings. And that's also we can give through United We Can, which our ministry is not just local, but we're all around the world. How many can say Amen. Amen, right? We're not just local, but we're all around the world, doing works all around the world, and that we're able to give towards United We Can, and that's also part of my offering. And see, tonight, that's what I believe tonight. How many believe that tonight? God's favor. Amen. Come on. How many believe that tonight? God's favor upon your life, financial life tonight. Amen. God, I believe God wants to bless, bless us, not just, not just uh, our jobs, and, but also, too, I believe God wants to raise up businesses. Amen businesses in the house of God. Myself, I'm believing that. I'm believing this year God is going to bless my business above and beyond as long as I continue to put him first. Amen? If you need, if you need a tithing envelope, if you haven't received one yet, get a tithing envelope. If you want to also give towards United We Can, you can do that here tonight. Amen? And we're going to go ahead and say a word of prayer, and we're believing favor for this year. 2018 favor financial breakthrough this year. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for, Lord, those that are giving tonight, God, and we pray that your favor, God, those that need increase, Lord, raises, God, at their jobs, God, their careers, God, I pray you bless them, Lord. Bless the ministry, God. We thank you, and we give you glory in the name of Jesus, and everybody says amen. amen. We're going to go ahead and pass the baskets tonight. Thank you. Brother Joe. Praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you as you give tonight. If you're in church and you're in the house of God, if you're in a church that's on the move, somebody say yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a good, good hand. Amen. God bless you as you give. And just as the baskets are continued to be passed, we have just a couple of announcements for you. How many know that every Friday night at 1130 on TBN, did you know that Jesus is glorified all over the world on a very special television show that we have called Treasures? Somebody say amen. 
And so uh, we just want to invite you to check it out, maybe give the invitation. Let somebody know what God is doing in your church. Somebody say, my church. And then also, we're going to be gathering right back here Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And then also Sunday night at 6 p.m. How many know that we've been having some powerful Sunday night services? I mean, I mean, last, you guys remember last week, right? You guys remember? Man, there were people up here dancing. There were people sweating. There was a genuine move of God here last Sunday night. So listen, if you haven't been coming out, listen, nudge your neighbor. Say, it's time for you to come out. Want to make sure that you make your way. And then also, maybe tonight you find yourself here and you're brand new to our congregation. Listen, we want to welcome you. Amen. We want to welcome you into the house of God. We are grateful that you have chosen Victory Outreach San Jose to be your home. And a matter of fact, we have designated and set up a class just for you. It's called the New Life Class. Somebody give the Lord a good hand of praise for that. Listen. When we come into the house of God, it's very important that we learn about the God that we're serving. It's very important that we learn who we're coming to worship. And this class is exactly that. And so it's going to be taking place this Tuesday. Somebody say this Tuesday. It's going to be taking place in our, uh, at 7 p.m. in my right to your left in the classrooms in classroom P5. Amen. And then also coming up on January 22nd, I want to give a special invitation to everybody that's in the Victory Centers, to everybody that's, come on, make some noise, to everybody that's in the life groups. Life group, make some noise. How many know that it's important that we get educated in the things of God? We have a class that's coming up for VETI, Victory Education Training Institute. It's our history and vision class. And listen, if you want to aspire to be something for God, the Bible says that, you know, it's good to have passion, but without knowledge, people make mistakes. Come on, somebody. And so it's very important that us as the house of God, not only are we in spending time in prayer, not only are we spending time in the word of God, but we're spending time getting educated in the things of God and in the history and what God has done at Victory Outreach. Somebody say amen. And so we just want to give you an invitation. Make sure that you sign up. You can sign up right there online at victoryoutreach.org. Also, all the married couples say, yeah. yeah. February 9th and 10th, right around the corner. We want to make sure that you guys get your tickets, purchase your tickets. We're going to be, we're going to be retreating. Amen. We're going to be going to a nice retreat. We want to make sure that all the married couples gather there. Someone once said that the strength of a church is found in the married couples of the church. Someone say hallelujah. And then also on January 27th, we're going to be gathering here on a Saturday at 6 p.m. We're going to be celebrating Pastor Tim's birthday, amen? And so it just recently passed, and so he's kind of been, he's, he's been doing a lot of traveling. He's even out of town this weekend. But we want to make sure that we celebrate with our ministers, amen? And so we want to make sure that you purchase your tickets. Everything that we're putting to the tickets does uh, go towards his gift. So we want to make sure that you go ahead and pick that up. Amen. And then also word on the street is that the women's home has a very special fundraiser that's taking place. They're going, you guys are setting up, go to women's convention, right? Send to go to women's convention. They said like this, we got gourmet cheesecake. Come on, somebody. They, uh, they got strawberry cheesecake. They got sweet potato cheesecake. They got classic cheesecake. Listen, they want to make sure that, how many know that's important that we believe in our men's and women's homes? Want to make sure that we send them off, amen? That they're blessed as they go. And then also, let's not forget, how many have been enjoying I-45, our, our very special cafe? Listen, they're open directly after service. Feel free to hang out, to mingle. You don't got to go to work tomorrow. Get a coffee. Grab whatever they're selling out there, eat, and hang out as a family. Amen. God bless you. We have a few more announcements for you on the screens. God bless you. I won't be able to convince you, but there's someone else that is able to convince you. There's that little tugging that takes place deep inside our hearts that as you're sitting there, you begin to get nervous and something is happening inside. You don't know what it is, but something is bugging you. My friend, it's the Holy Spirit. That you continue to reach the gang member, I pray that you continue to reach these families that are lost and found. 
and I will forever give you the glory and I will praise you for it because it's through your tender mercy and loving kindness that this is possible. Thank you, Jesus, for all the wonderful things you have done and for the many wonderful things that you will continue to do. What an amazing experience it is to be here in this life-changing convention. I don't have words to explain this experience. This is life-changing. I flew thousands of miles to get here. I came ready to receive. I will never be the same again. This is the best experience ever. This convention has been 10 times better. It's so awesome to see family from all around the world. I know that none of us are going back the same. I can't wait to share with everybody. I'm really excited about going home and making a global impact for Jesus. Victory Outreach, we have been called selected to do a specific work for God. We don't want you to lose focus of what God has called us to do. He's given us the inner cities of the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and stand. Amen. Glory to God. How many are here ready for spiritual warfare Friday night? Amen. Well, if you're ready, come on, give the Lord a good shout. Give him a good praise. Amen. Come on, if we can, just lift our hands tonight. And how many know we've come to spend some time with the Lord tonight? And I'm going to ask that tonight that you just go ahead and focus your, your, your whole attention on him. If you can, just put everything aside, anything that you came in with, any thoughts that you came prior with that you would just let them go. Maybe a trial, a, a situation that happened prior, or maybe that's been happening all week. My prayer is that you just let it go tonight. Let it go. Say, okay, God, I'm here to meet you, and I don't want anything to get in the way with me connecting with you, God. This is what I'm here for. I think... I think we heard it last week. We don't, have a, we don't want to have a religion, but, Lord, I want to have a relationship with you. Lord, I want to have a relationship, God. I, I want to know you, God. I want to know you. I, I want to sense your presence. So, God, Lord, I want to connect with you tonight, God. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I lay it all down tonight, God. I lay it all down tonight, God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence. Come on, there you go, pressing. Come on. Lay it all down. Put everything to the side. Come on and go after him tonight. All right, come on, there it is. Come on, you need to go after it. Don't hold back tonight. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of So let us become, let us become. Of your presence, let us six. 
experience the glory of your glory. So let us become, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence. Come on, just keep your hands lifted. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, just call on his name. Come on, call on that great name of Jesus. Lord, we love you, Lord. Lord, we praise you, Lord. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we lift up your name, oh God. Lord, we exalt you tonight. Lord, we lift you up, God. We lift you up. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we lift you up, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Come on, just stand there. tonight we're gonna we're gonna give everybody an opportunity just just to spend some time with God you know I I really enjoyed what happened last week we were able just to go right into the presence of the Lord and that's what we want to do tonight but all I want to do is tonight is just give you a scripture we're gonna go and stay in this presence stay here and then we're gonna go right into prayer there's a scripture I just want to read to you. It's in Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, and it says this, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. That's our desire today, just to get to know him and the fellowship of his sufferings. How many have ever gone through some trials and some obstacles? He says, but it's being conformed to his death, meaning it's transforming me to be more like him that I may obtain the resurrection of the dead. Not that I have already obtained, he says. Not that I'm perfect, but I press on. Saying that my spiritual walk, your spiritual walk, our spiritual walk is something that we don't obtain. It's something we don't reach. We don't reach a place and say we've, we've, we've reached it. We've obtained it. He says, no. He says, it is a journey and we're continuing. I'm continuing continue on that journey. It hasn't ended yet. I've been saved for a while. I've been coming to church for a while. I've been coming here for a few months. I've been coming for a few years. I've been coming for a, t a while now, but my journey isn't over yet. The journey is, is still on. I'm still on my spiritual journey. But I press on that I may lay hold that of Christ for which Christ has laid hold of me. Jesus came after me, and now I'm going after him. Jesus has been trying to get a hold of my life all this week and all this time, and even at this beginning of the year. But, Lord, I'm saying yes, this is why I'm here, because now I'm going after you. But this one thing I do says, brother, not that I count myself to have already apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Tell that neighbor there's still more. Tell him that there's still more. How many know there's some things we have to leave behind in 2017? 
How many know there's certain things we have to leave behind in 2017? I said, how many know there's certain things that you and I have to leave behind in 2017? I'm not sure what God has asked you to leave behind, but there's some certain things he said you need to leave that behind in 2017. I don't know what he's been telling you, but he's been telling me there's nothing left for you in 2017. I have much more ahead for you in 2018. You got to press on, 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 you got to press on. And the key, it's found in God in Christ Jesus. That's how you and I progress. It's not doing more doing more ministry, getting more busy. It's not. It's not even on the outward trying to, if we can just have a better job, I would be a better person. If I had this, if I had more money in my account, if I had this, if I didn't have this last year, and if I would have this, I would be a better person. Not the answer. The goal is in God in Christ Jesus, if it's all I do is know him more, this year, I've reached my goal. If all I did was get closer to him, this year, I've reached my goal. If I spent more time with him, if I focused more on him and less on me, I've reached my goal. So tonight, we're going to open up these altars. And tonight, whether... You want to spend some time with the Lord up here or maybe right at your seat or wherever that you find that place. Say, Lord, tonight I'm going to lay down everything that I need to lay down that I, I'm, I find myself bringing over to 2017. I don't want that anymore. I need to let those down, but only for one reason. My goal is just to draw closer to you, not to have more things and and. and and do more. But Lord, I just want to know you more. I want to know you more. Oh, glory. Come on, let's just go into that place with you and the Lord. Find that place. Whether you're kneeling, whether you're standing, doesn't matter. Find that place. Come on, go after it.
We live. 
lift you up for all you've done, yeah, yeah. so much for us, Lord, You are worthy of it 